Well, U.S. President Donald Trump has said that short-term recession might simply be the cost of waging his much-needed trade war with China, as Beijing had been grifting off America for decades. Addressing reporters in the Oval Office, Donald Trump said somebody had to do something with China, while adding that this should have been done by his predecessors. He alleged that China was stealing U.S. intellectual property, that is, ideas. Somebody had to take China on. China's been ripping this country off for 25 years, for longer than that. And it's about time, whether it's good for our country or bad for our country, short term, long term, it's imperative that somebody does this. Because our country cannot continue to pay China $500 billion a year because stupid people are running it. So I don't mind this question. Whether it's good or bad, short term, is irrelevant. We have to solve the problem with China because they're taking out $500 billion a year plus, and that doesn't include intellectual property theft and other things, and also national security. Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte has resigned following a decision by the far-right League party to present a no-confidence motion in the 14-month-old coalition government. The move on Tuesday has left Italy in a political vacuum until President Sergio Mattarella decides whether to form a new coalition or call an election after talks with parties in the coming days. Mattarella charged Conte with uh, heading a caretaker administration after he handed in his resignation pending consultations on a new government which is set to begin today. Addressing Parliament on the, the turmoil unleashed by the League's move, Conte accused Salvini, who is also Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister, of trying to drag down the coalition for personal and political gain. <coughs> Saudi Arabia has started implementing its landmark reform on travel restrictions on women. It allows women to travel abroad without permission from a male guardian. It's a step away from the system of male domination that was deeply rooted in Saudi society. The passport department said on Twitter that they're receiving applications for women over, aged, uh, over 21 years in age to issue or renew passports and travel abroad without any male guardian's permission. The reform has come after high-profile attempts by women to escape alleged guardianship abuse despite a string of reforms by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. These reforms were widely celebrated in the kingdom as well. Brazil's Amazon rainforest has witnessed a record number of fires this year. A total number of 72,843 fires have been detected so far in Brazil's Space Research Center, INPE. The surge marks an 83% increase on the same period last year. Concerns grow over the president, uh, that's uh, Jair Bolsonaro's environmental policy, while the Conservationists have blamed the president, saying he has encouraged loggers and farmers to clear land. Smoke from the fires has caused a blackout in the city of Sao Paulo, and that happened on Monday. However, Brazil's Space Research Centre has said that satellite images have spotted a total of 9,507 new forest fires in the country since Thursday. Most fires were in the Amazon Basin, which is the world's largest tropical forest and seen as vital to countering global